Hello everyone. Today we are here to talk about how we leverage Trino to uh, solve few of our data use cases. Uh, bef- uh, so first, a round of introduction. I am Sumit. Uh, I work as a VP for Goldman Sachs. Along with me, I have Siddhant, Suman, and Ramesh. We are all part of the core data engineering team. So this is uh, the Trino architecture at Goldman Sachs. Uh, we have uh, we have covered this uh, architecture as part of the Trino broadcast uh, back in February. Please feel free to uh, go to the Trino broadcast page and get more information about it. You can also check out the Goldman Sachs uh, developers blog to get uh, more info about this uh, architecture. So we use uh, Trino for multiple of your our use cases. One of the most fascinating use case is data quality. Why data quality? Data quality is a very critical aspect for every organization as it impacts it across all levels. To get a deeper understanding of it, we reached out to several users across the firm to understand what data quality actually meant to them. Soon we figured out that that the problem of data quality is not just interesting, but really vast as well. Some of the most commonly asked questions and user perspectives are highlighted here. How do we perform data quality validations on data that we do not understand the functional nitty gritty of? For example, the data ingestion teams ingest data of different domains across the firm. How do they perform basic data quality validations autonomously on top of their data. Data resides in different data sources. How do we reconcile them? For instance, an application's data may live in a SQL DB as well as a NoSQL database, depending on the use cases that the data is served for. How do we reconcile these different data sources to ensure that the data is accurate and correct? Very often, the very often, data quality rules might be applied to a particular data set, but they would be applicable to another data set. For example, a team A might have developed certain data quality rules for their use cases, but the same might be applicable for another team B. How do we make these rules more portable and easy to adopt holistically? Another interesting pattern in data quality from a user's perspective is when and where to do the data quality. For example, certain users might want to do data quality as part of their data pipelines while the data is still moving. On the other hand, several users might want to actually do their data quality checks post the data is actually loaded into the data sources. These are just some of the problem statements that are common and there are many more such problems. So we set out to, we started to dwell on the root of these problems and build a holistic data quality assessment platform. Few of the things we wanted to solve as part of our platform were, have the ability to provide insights of data to their users, give an ability to the users to understand the behavior and patterns inside their data so that they can understand if the data quality is breaking those patterns. Have the ability for users to plug in data validation rules to ensure that the data is accurate and correct. However, the journey of data quality doesn't end at figuring out what the data breaks are. The journey actually just starts. We need a holistic toolkit to not just manage the breaks, but have an entire journey about from the moment the break is detected to how the break gets resolved. Our users have data in multiple disparate sources. However, there are several challenges that come into the picture when the data is present in so many federated data sources. Number one, each may have its own dialect and DSL. There may be different authentication and authorization mechanisms for each of them. It is cumbersome and costly to manage connectivities to each of these federated sources. We wanted to Uh, source this data into our platform to perform the data quality validations while isolating the access layer from the application logic. In came Trino. Trino allowed us to segregate the access from our core application so that we can focus on solving the data quality needs for our users while Trino allows us to scalably 
query this data from so many different sources in a unified manner. Now we will talk about the core features of the platform. Firstly, data profiling and anomaly detection. Data profiling. This platform proactively profiles the data at a column level and provides the insights of the data in real time. For example, we capture the data types of every column, several statistical measures like frequency distribution, and some numeric stats like min, max, average, standard deviations of a column, and there are many more. With these profiled stats, platform also has an ability to generate the rules automatically. These platform generated rules are used to detect anomalies in the data. Anomaly detection lets the user to know if this data is in accordance with the historical trend or not. This platform also has the intelligence to evolve these rules over time if the data changes gradually. Now let's go to the next core feature, flexible and scalable rules engine. Apart from the auto suggested rules, platform also offers a flexible mechanism to handcraft a user defined rule. These rules can be written or coded in multiple languages as per the developer's choice. Some of the languages supported include Java, Scala, Python, right? To add on, platform also has numerous templated rules, basically the out of the box rules that requires no coding and lets the user to be configured on any of the data sets. Now coming to the execution engine, all these configured rules on any data, be it platform generated or user configured, can be executed in a distributed system or an architecture that can be scaled horizontally with ease. These rules are executed in parallel. Now we'll talk about the next feature, multiple execution modes. Platform can be used to perform data quality on both kinds of data, data at rest and also data in motion. Platform has the ability to execute rules for data at rest on a scheduled basis or by a manual trigger. This also supports to execute rules within data pipelines in real time for streaming data. Apart from these, platform also has a pluggable SDK that can be incorporated within external applications as well. Let's look at the one of the next core feature, which is alerting and reporting. Once the breaks are generated, platform has the ability to notify the users with the reports and also alert the users about their breaks. Platform also supports a comprehensive breaks management that lets the user to join their breaks data with their source data to get a comprehensive view of their data health. These are some of the features. We have a lot of other features which we'll be covering up in the future Trino summits. By the way, we would like to take this opportunity to talk about Legend, which is one of the flagship open source project from Goldman Sachs. Legend is a flexible platform that offers solutions to explore, define, connect, and integrate data into your business processes. Please, uh, please check out the links below for more information.